Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, and we are reloading in, and we are way back to where we had needed to take a nap. In case you missed it, uh, in the intro and last week, uh, I died right towards the end, and we've got to go to sleep, and then, uh, well, we've got to wander through the halls again. Luckily, I found uh, that you can pause and then skip cutscenes. And the cool thing is it doesn't skip all of the cutscenes. It just skips the one that you're watching. Which, depending on if you like it, that's good or bad. But, like, you can skip the laying down, going to sleep. You can then skip the dream sequence. And then, of course, there's the um, the bridge sequence. Or, no, the hallways. Yeah. So you can pause and skip those. Which, a lot of games frankly just need so we're going to skip along for a little bit and then i'll uh, come back to you when we get to the action I decided to get smart that before I started all this again, that I would make another save after all of the cutscenes, so I didn't have to do that all over again. And once more into the breach, dear friends. Now, we're going to try and do this uh, a little quicker this time. I don't really know what I did wrong the last time. Well, I do now, but... So I'm pretty much just going to do it all over again. There's still no way to avoid these guys. And I can't look at the map, so that's useless. At a certain point, I am going to go inside and just look at the map. Punch him. Zero. Oh no. We have to bring them into our world. What a world. What a world. I do like there that she mentions Cosmos and Alan. Because Alan's been pining her for her. So that's a big step up to be mentioned like that. Then again, I'm pretty sure that her last love interest died, and he was also on the Cosmos team. I love how she survives the hitting, though. Just some geeky little, you know, scientist. Suddenly is a superhero quality. I don't know, just strange. Oh look, fire again. I didn't even try and skip this cutscene, I don't know why. Anyways, let's uh... You know what, let's speed this up a little bit and get back to where we were. Here we are, let's stop and talk to this person, even though they never know anything. Oh yeah, the bright red button. And there you are, proof that even killer aliens love watching TV. Or holograms. Or whatever that was. 
And look, a save point. Yay! They're starting to give save points more often, which I'm very happy about. My girlfriend's out there. My girlfriend's going to be eaten alive by monsters. Hey, guy. This isn't that kind of game. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I've seen... Well... I, I've, I've heard that people have seen movies like that. gave up real easy he gave up easier than those two guys that chased me earlier and they just wanted to play tag can't we stop it it's no use it's not responding cosmos is starting up an auto mode huh wait a sec we disabled that mode after the incident only the chief's terminal can enable it damn it why now Unless it's reacting to Gnosis. Where's the chief? She should be heading this way, but the regular UNP channels are congested and I can't reach her. And the emergency line? I'm trying it now. Stop, 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 stop. So her phone has been there the whole time? Ah. Oh, great. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. The power just suddenly... Huh? Huh? What? what? I just love that everyone is cowering because the last time this chick woke up, it was a bloodbath. I also love the fact that she has an onboard map of the of the ship. Too bad none of the rest of us do. But luckily she seems to have everything well in hand and kinda know what she's doing. And she looks pretty awesome too. I mean Creepy.
I love that the music starts playing before the the video comes up. It just gets you going. And I really like the music of this game. Even though a lot of it's just the, you know, dun, 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 it's just it's just good like action music. Monster go down the hole. These guys kind of remind me of the blue ant from the Ant and the Aardvark cartoons. Do you remember those? Just kind of weird. imagine if that's your eulogy it's like well he's dead <laughs> nothing nothing more than that and i love how shion is just kind of fine with uh like oh dead body mm -hmm, yeah i'm um, just walking along i mean she's supposed to be a scientist with a tender heart but it just keeps weirding me out can't figure out how to get that treasure chest back there. I can't figure out how to go south from here. Just not really sure what to do. Maybe this cowering guy can help me. I can fire small amounts of destruction destructive agents. That's what I call my sons, destructive agents. Just set them loose anywhere. But I was just here. Did I not talk to the right person? Was it the wrong dead guy? No, not there. Mm. I don't know. It is not very clear about where things are. Let's talk to dude. With one blow, they wrecked blah, blah, blah. OK. 
Okay, no. Oh, now he brings it out. Oh yeah, I do have that thing. I have to buy it? No? I'm very confused. Oh, yeah, and you can't run in this game. You have to use escape packs. It's kind of weird. Did not realize that until about... Uh, well, I mean, it told me that I couldn't, but I didn't actually realize, realize until I had to sit for a while and go, uh, how do I run away again? Because I didn't know. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to be playing in the menus. Alright. I don't know if we got it or not. I don't know. Oh, we can only really shoot the blue flashing balls. Got it. God, wait. Oh, wait. I know this game. Oh, that one cheated. He wasn't playing fair. Oh, they give up. Weird. Oh, The crazy guy that liked the doors is dying. That sucks. At least the good sergeant was nice enough to give us his most prized possession before he passed away. Officially the worst shots ever. Damn it! You! What the hell are you doing here?
Yeah, I would have. You know what? I've been shot at before. Uh, that would have made me pee myself. Those bullets could have killed me. What are we doing? What the hell do you think you're doing running around like an idiot? We thought you were a gnosis. Look, I've got my own problems to deal with. Here I am getting attacked by the gnosis. I'm getting lost at every turn and... and don't give me a hard time right now. What the hell? Lost? You're the idiots who built this ship. I'm not with the fleet design department. I wouldn't know a thing about ships. We're on DEFCON 1 alert! What the hell is a civilian like you wandering around the ship for? Well, I've got an emergency. I'm worried about Cosmos. What the hell is Cosmos? Ah, never mind. Deal with it later. Just get to a shelter and stay put. Believe me, if I could, I would. Then why don't you? I just told you, Cosmos is... Ah, shut up! <laughs> hey! They're coming! Get back! Lieutenant! What? You think I'm deaf or something? You... What the... Hey, you! Get away from the wall! These weapons really don't seem to be doing anything. At all. And I mean, at all. Kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, once again, Final Fantasy Spirits Within, where they're like, oh, we can shoot the ghost thingies, and it really doesn't do anything. Well, that's where they are. Please use one and abandon ship immediately. And you and the others? We'll hold them off here. You've got to hurry. I can't do that. I can't just run off by myself. We'll have to leave together. As a quick aside, having been in the military, that is kind of how it is. Like, no, we're gonna we're gonna die so you can get away, or we're gonna die so you can do a lot of things. Actually, it just depends. Oh, oh, we're robbing corpses now. Awesome. He's dead, just like all the rest. Now, if I were dead crewman number three, where would my iPod be? And another save point. I have come to love these little things because anywhere there is a save point, that means I don't have to listen to everybody talk before then. I actually started doing multiple saves from here just because eh, I like the little pictures for one. And two, I might want to go back and revisit some of the other stuff just to see if I can do it a little better. I'm in the menus, I don't know why. But let's uh, keep going and see what we can find now. Delta 
Control. What's going on down there? Take out the mothership! We can't! We're too close to fire the cannons! There's a breach in the reactor room! Emergency core shutdown! Switch to reserves! Egg's losses have exceeded 70%! I'm trying. This is a cruiser, Woglinde, with the 117th Marine Division. We're engaged with the Gnosis. Coordinates KX417 Y009 Z73. All right. The, I love what they did right there because they gave three coordinates, which means that they're actually tracking it in 3D space. A lot of people mess that up, in especially in movies and uh, video games, is that they'll just give two coordinates and it's like, oh, we're. We're at 34 by 28, and it's like, ah, you know what? That doesn't help, because this is space. We've got up and down to go yet. What's the status? We've connected the main field generator and this block's subreactor. It'll only hold for three minutes, but we can move this ship under power. Bypass connection to the logic drive secured. You can take control from this terminal. That's fine. Good work. Commander, I object. Purging this entire block and executing a gate jump is suicide. You know as well as I do what happens when a human body enters hyperspace unprotected. Well, I know what happens when the human body enters your mom unprotected. But I'll be at the next column area in a matter of minutes. There's no time. Get in the pod and evacuate with the others. But Commander, the Gnosis are swarming all over the place. We won't stand a chance even if we do evacuate. We should accompany you. Listen. The Gnosis are insignificant. They are nothing compared to what'll happen if it awakes. As soon as you launch the escape pod, inject yourself with eight milligrams of Dig Beta. You'll fall into a temporary near-death state, but that'll keep them from noticing you. Reinforcements from Central Command will arrive in a few hours. You must survive until then, or my death will be for nothing. What on earth is Dig Beta? Dig Beta, Dig Beta, Dig Dug. Dig, Digimon, beta carotene. Ah, uh, digital carrots. There we go. Yeah, they want him to eat digital carrots. Damn it! Our weapons are useless. They're not like those other bastards. An FAE? No. See, even in space, the Fae are powerful. I don't know what an FAE is, but I'm pretty sure I'll have to look on the little device there to figure it out later on. But, it looks like, uh, something happened. Okay, seriously, if you're gonna paint your mech a different color than everybody else's, why are you gonna go with lavender? I mean, it's not even pink. It's not purple. It's lavender. 
Maybe it's lilac. Maybe the color's off. I don't know. Either way, I don't know why he painted it that color. I thought the the normal blue looks kind of nice. If it went with like a purple, I could understand that. I just don't get it. What? What do I do? I gotta stop them. There's gotta be a way. But how? Hey, you. What are you doing? Give that back! <clears throat> Quit your whining. I'll give it right back. Hey. They're based on the 508 series, right? So what if they are? It's been almost 14 years now. Since I returned from Milsha, that is. Out in the fields, I took apart so many of them to get what I was looking for. It was a lot of work, you know. What with that dual stage protection they got and all. Dual stage? Lieutenant, you consumed their neuro. But of course, they were quite delicious. I ate them with some fava beans. That's where I found out about the control code. It's quite a convenient function you put in there. <gasps> That's right. I'm going to have these marionettes hold off the gnosis for us. Just like this. Stop it! What do you think they are? This is a clear violation of- Of their rights? That's for peacetime, lady. You think I don't know the Milshan Charter? Milshan Charter, Article 4, Paragraph 13. <sighs> Weapons grade realians are required to be equipped with a remotely accessible behavioral limit and self-destruct system in case of emergency or malfunction. Use of these functions will be determined by the senior officer in charge of the situation. Am I right? Well, that time is now. And I am the conductor. I intend to make full use of my orchestra. I just realized that that reminds me of the line from V for Vendetta. Where he's like, oh, today, percussion instruments mostly, but this time I plan on using the entire orchestra. I wonder if that's where they got it from. And you know what? Even if that guy's right and he's by the letter of the law, he's still a giant prick. Tell me, why haven't you disabled that function? Sure, it's factory loaded. But you, of all people, shouldn't have any trouble removing it. Since you care about them so much, all it would take is a little tweak, and they'd be free as birds. And yet you don't. Why not? Because company protocol dictates... Exactly. It's protocol. In other words, you're just like me, bound by that protocol. We're the ones that give them a reason to live. Am I wrong? But I... That's the difference between us and them. Am I wrong? So why not give it to them? A meaning to their pitiful existence! Blowing people, realians, whatever they are up, is is one thing. Like blowing them up to save yourself, that's that's all well and good. Cackling about it maniacally, that's it that why does that guy have a giant penis sticking out? I don't get it.
Yeah, because this doesn't have creepy written all over it. Whoever did a good job with the, the direction for the cinematics is just awesome. They did a really good job with the camera angles, even though there are no cameras. This is what we so want why to not do. Give it to Take them. Take care. A meaning to their... All right. Do you feel sad or anything? What's this girl doing here? Seen her before? Not safe there. Run. Run away. It's no use. My voice. Oh. Well. I'm going to die. That's right, it's Cosmos. Chief, are you all right? Uh, what are you doing here? Cosmos helped everyone escape. They're all on the training ship. Now we need to get you out of here. Cosmos? Oh, what up now that we can shoot you? Jerks. She's like a hot version of Mega Man. But awesome. What the hell? What is that? Cosmos! That's a chick with two Gatlin guns with, well, actually two guns with three Gatlins on. Oh, just, oh. Sure. There's a 99.998% probability that the Gnosis target is the object stored in that hangar. My assigned duties are to verify and preserve the integrity of that object and to protect the Vector staff members. Uh, but I... Life pods are located on the second level of the hangar. Please use one to escape. Cosmos. Ch chief And that's it for this episode. Join us for part seven. 
I'm Jack Allaire, and as always, play on.